one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And this video for today's vlog is a guy that bought the truck for me, the orange uh, Chevy 95 GMT 400. Um, actually, it's for his daughter, she's 14, and it's going to be her first car, her first truck. So that's super cool. And the cool thing, I have so many people, probably 80 people or more, contact me on that truck. The problem with all the people that contacted me is, I got a lot of young kids contact me and I ask them if they could work on a car. They go, well, you know, I, I changed my tire once and I, I one kid had did an alternator and, and I tell them straight up, man, this truck's got problems and it needs a qualified mechanic that can fix them. Somebody who's done a lot of stuff because they don't run right and it's dented it all up. So forget about the body. You can leave it in it, but it's got a little crack in the part for the, this thing was sold as a project vehicle, man. So it's a good truck. It was a solid, no rust GMT 400. But it's just the process and the guy buying it. I like a buyer like this that knows what they're looking at, knows what they're doing. I told the guy before he came, are you flexible? No, I'm not flexible. I got so many people, bro, I can't keep up. I still wanna look. He actually just showed up. It took 25 minutes, like front to end. If it this didn't take 30, there's no way because I had an appointment. It's on the 4th of July, I believe. But whatever, here it is, here it goes. I do new videos every day. Make sure and like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Probably be doing a premiere here and talk to y'all about it. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Here we go. Well, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I had some guy that just randomly showed up. I talked to him last night, but I guess he was down here delivering something or something. And now I'm showing him El Trucco. Beautiful day. It's the 4th of July and I upload daily videos. And this is the guy, I guess. So we'll talk to him a bit, see how he's doing, and do it to it. Lily, leave it open. Just leave it open, and then you can close it when they leave. Just leave it open. You'll close it when they leave. Just leave it open for now. How you doing? How's it going? Good. This is this beautiful hunk of junk. <laughs> Best thing I can say about it is it ain't got no rust. Right. Well, the good thing is it's a 95. It's free OBD2. That's really cool too, yep. And that theme basically carries out around the whole thing. I don't think there's a panel in it that ain't got it. How are you doing? Good, how are you? A little bit of Bondo in it. I believe it's got, it's got a rebuilt title, and I don't know at what point that was done. All three of the owners that had it before contacted me from the ad. The one guy's in Sealy and wants it, but the original guy, it, oh, I'm sorry, bud. It was a nice, nice truck back then. The interior is decent. With a good detail, it, it would it would turn out pretty nice. I was thinking of getting some like 05, like a 32 percent See, at some point it has some ratty seats in it, a guy says, and I would imagine they probably match the back leather. Yeah, that back vinylish leather. Vinyl, yeah. Check this out while you're down here. I showed some on the video. The worst stuff on this thing that I know of is the back of this caliper and stuff in here. It needs a front end redone thing. And right up in here somewhere, there's a crack in one of these lift pieces. Oh, that's common, yeah. Very common, but it's just, it, it is what it is and I don't wanna, somebody, there's receipts in there, somebody put them expensive shocks and that drive line is pretty sweet too. I, I hate to start buying a junker and putting parts back on these and selling parts, but it's definitely, it's a unique thing. Oops, sorry, man. Does it run good? You know, it it runs. We'll just we'll just put it at that. It has a motor. It, it needs someone really skilled, like repair shop guy. Where do you you want a repair shop in town? You said. And it goes through these phases, like right now, it seems a little doggy at first. Sometimes you start, it runs just fine at first. But then you stop, and it does that, and won't let you take off. 
That's pretty. Is that a better aftermarket intake type thing? That spacer plate? They got a little. Oh, that spacer plate, yeah. So before the Edelbrock really started coming out with a performer intake, that was what we used to dissipate fuel. The idea is to burn the fuel drop. Falls farther. So it's just a spacer plate. Yeah, that's all it is, but they work great. What was that? Map sensor I brought. Oh, gotcha. In case, but that's usually what it is. My buddy's pretty skilled, and he checked the timing a little. He's thinking that what if the timing little uh, gear in there broke or something's wrong with the timing chain and it slipped? No, you think it's... So what happens with these is they apple core. Um, the, and when they get an apple core, they get a little bit in there. Basically, you set the timing at zero, the computer controls it. So when you get the apple core in there, uh, and that little bit of slack is messing with the computer. But I'm not really worried about that either. I mean, I'm just, my daughter's getting ready to drive here another year and a half, and I thought, well, I'd give it a year and a half to build her something she can work on, and, and her brother can help her work on without getting into all the new stuff. Gotcha. Um, I've had offers. I've had three offers for the hood. I've had three offers on that. I'm like, dude, you got another one that's painted orange for me? No. <laughs> well, this would be a good one. This one's sold. And this one's sold in two days. So that's kind of interesting. And this one, it's just the second day. And I do expect to sell it today. In fact, I expect to sell it to this guy. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? 48. 47. That's getting a lot harder to do what you just did for me. <laughs> getting down on the oh, ground, getting back up. I didn't use this hand. Yeah, I'm I got so much going on with this hand that, you know, I used to, you get it laying under a car and you get in a hurry and it's like the one arm pull up. Uh huh. And then your shoulder starts going. My, my left shoulder's out. I had a guy tell me, man, that there's an oil riggers truck. And I go, an oil riggers truck? What is that? He goes, they had all kinds of money. They made big money, then they put it all in their truck. They get laid off. They don't have no respect for it, and they beat it to hell. And, then, and I go, that makes sense. I've never heard that before. Does it make me feel better to go 1900 and feel like I talked you down? Yeah, I'd do that. Trucks? That's fair. I'd do that. I got I got a lot of people, but I'm not. I, I, honestly, I, I have a lot of kids contacting me on it and stuff, and I don't want to sell it to somebody that can't fix it and then stick right. them with a problem. I mean, and you, I, you sound like you know exactly what you're doing. Right. Well, Man, whoever did that paint job, all that pinstripings under clear and everything, I mean, that's a, there's little skulls in it. He's done all kinds of airbrushing inside this, amazing. When would you want to take it? You guys going to try to? Well, I I brought um, map sensor and some tools and stuff, the usuals for what makes us go back, um, you know, makes us not want to go down the road. Do you think it'll get up to, you know, 70 mile an hour and drive? If not, I got I've been going about 60, 60, I got up to 60, 65 on the road. I was taking it easy because I don't like that front caliper and that crack in the right. uh, suspension part. Let's see if I can see that again.
buddy, my buddy found it, and I don't know. Oh, right here? No. No. Found it. It's in one of these lift component pieces. Sure can't see it now. Yeah, but I don't, I don't see it. It doesn't like pull you to the right real hard, does it? Not real, real hard, but it don't drive straight That's really right. good. Man, that's amazing. I, yeah, I'm not terribly worried about it. Um, you know, if it was terrible, terrible bad, then this tire would be going really bad, or one of them at least would be. Why don't we drive it down a mile or two and whatever, real quick? You want to do that? Let me grab a screwdriver in my plate. All right. <laughs> I want you guys to end up buying it and you can ride it with me. <laughs> AC work? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say I doubt it. <laughs> See, it's still at the R12 compressor. Is it R12 in there still? Like it. I, I, you still got any of that? I had a guy trying to sell me a bottle for like 800 bucks. 800 bucks, but. That's now. I'll, I'll convert them. I get it's pretty cheap enough to convert. Yeah. I had a stage. You put an accumulator on it, a couple of valves that screw on the top, and. 50 bucks here to get converted. Well, I wouldn't want to get caught <laughs> using R12. Oh, I know it. A buddy of mine got all kinds of it down in Mexico right as it went illegal and everything everywhere. So he's got just all, I think he's got probably a thousand cans of it. I got some buddies in the Bahamas got a house down there and their fridge leaks out every year and shit, you can buy R12 right over the counter down there. In where? In, down in uh, Bahamas out of Marsh Harbor. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. I go down there every year for a week and go fishing with them. Oh, well, that's probably a blast, huh? Eight or nine houses on the island, and they bought the, the place right next to it. How, how, how long of a ride is it down there? Oh, you fly to Orlando, and then you got to spend overnight, and then you go over to like an hour and 15 minute flight. Huh. Never went anywhere in the Caribbean type of thing. I always wanted to. That one? It'll drive. That, that's honestly w what I figure. I just take it easy and whatever, but right. I don't want to tell so I, I, it's, it's up to, you know what I mean. I, right. I don't, I, I'm not misrepresented. It's, it's, it's a good, solid truck, but it's got its little issues. Yeah, if it's terrible, I gotta tow truck guy that owes me a few favors, so new company in Missoula that I... You got triple A? Well, the gal that went to me, my friend might have. I don't know. Oh, dude, asking. you got to get that. 139 a year, and they give you three toes. Mm. It'll do that, and then it'll get right up. It's running out of fuel. It shifts nice. I do believe in the shifting yeah, of it. Yeah, solid shift. I actually just bought a 95 Suburban from my sister um, last week for a hundred bucks. So I got a new motor, tranny, everything I need. So you're really, you focus a bit on the pre-96 stuff, huh? No, 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 no. No, it just happened just that way. Just for her. Gotcha. I, I was actually going to get into the you know, early 80s for her. Because, um, you know, I mean, why spend money on the brand new shit when the kid's probably going to wreck it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can put five yeah. grand into this and give her something to wreck and look cool while she's doing it. And... I'm all right. It's got the right stance and everything. Right. Yeah, if you want to do night, uh, 1900, I definitely do Okay, you want to do it now then? Yeah, I got cash. You got cash? Yeah. Okay. Take me like two minutes inside to grab some papers. I'll be right back. Okay, well, that's that. It don't happen no faster than that, buddy. But, yeah. This part, the signature. It's the regular bill of sale, as is form, everything that can be wrong with it. Frame as is and lifted, altercation, salvage vehicle, and aftermarket performance. The title I send to, you're in Missoula, right? It's registered here. I send it to the... You have to? Count, yes. I actually got rid of my secretary beginning of the year and I kind of got in trouble for that already. <laughs> really? Oh man, I've done, I've done so many, oh wow. 
Could you send it to another dealership? A dealer to dealer wholesale? If it was in the dealership's name, no problem. I can do it any way you want. 100%. You have to, um, I just need a copy of the dealer's license. Sounds like we better do it my way then. This is only going to cost me 65 bucks to license it. I just didn't want to license it just yet, but that's okay. Dude, the lifetime will cost you 140. Life, oh, yeah. Lifetime's 140, 150. Did you see my dad head out the gate again or something? Do you yeah, know? He yeah, did? He was at the gator and he took his, I think his daughter. Oh, she they, took off with him, okay. Yeah, and they just took her. He said something about the horse, and he'd be right back. And oh, get out. maybe that was for us. Hope it didn't. Horse. Hope it didn't get out again. Yeah. She gets out. She loves that grass right by the highway. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, she's got AAA, so I just oh, that's cool. Dude, every year I use up all three toes. We broke down in Bozeman, home that military blazer home with the power stroke and a trailer. Me and my dad both have it. They towed us from Bozeman to here for free with that power stroke, a trailer, and a truck. I have a guy that, um, over at Clean Heck, over in Orfino, Idaho, he gets, I think, two toes a year, and if his car coughs, sputters, um, last time he sent it over because he thought he had a transmission. Oh, he just triple A's it over to you. Yeah, triple A's it over. <laughs> That's funny. Because he won't use any mechanics over there. I'm just like, are you kidding me? Okay, it's weird. It is cheap. It, it's but. cheap insurance. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Willie. There's a handwritten paper on the counter. I need that and a pen. Hurry. It's a handwritten paper. My mom will help you. Run, 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 run. What are you, hourly? Do they um, call you at the motor vehicle department down there, or you just go in after so long and it should be on file there? Um, sometimes they call you. It depends on how busy they are or whatever. Um, I know I send it out. This will go out Wednesday with the other ones, so they'll have it by the end of the week, and the next week it will be okay. there. You can pretty much guarantee that in two weeks they'll be ready for you. Right. And you got um, 40 days. And when this blows off, write your governor a letter. He won't let us put in the back window no more. Really? They want them on the bumper. When are you going to drive it home? How old is she? 14. 14. Another year? She's been driving for a couple of years. <laughs> cool. That's well, we got a you know, couple ranch properties that we go on and we go out in the woods. We drive. Not in the high mountain woods, but down out in the Dillon area. She gets to drive out there. So. That's awesome. I talked to a lady yesterday, and her kid's 20. He can't drive yet. He's like, well, I just, oh, I will when I'm ready. Man, when I was old enough to drive before, I wanted my car and wanted to drive. Yeah, 25-year-old kid I used to live next to me. Parents had to haul his ass everywhere. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Probably no job. Huh? Probably no job either. Uh, no, no, and they, they didn't force him to get a job because he just um, couldn't be around people. It was just, it just, it was, yeah. All right. Have fun, man. It was nice to meet you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay. You done? Where's the paper? Where's the paper? Where's the pen? Good job, good job. Thank you. Cool truck. This will be a cool first truck. Hey, you better hurry. Here, I'll grab it. Well, another one bites the dust, and that's that. I mean, geez, dude, you can't beat that. Lily, you got to make sure and get the gate, okay? Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. New stuff tomorrow and an announcement about the farm and the name of it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. If you haven't liked the video yet, do it and subscribe if you haven't, my God.